that I completely lost the intro for this video. So I'm just gonna do it now. Um, so jumping to the future, I'm working on a crop top because it seemed less intimidating than a sweater. So that's why we're doing a crop top. But um, this vlog basically is just a knitting vlog. We go yarn shopping, which we love yarn shopping. Um, yeah, so that's basically what this video is. I'm not gonna make the intro super long and drawn out. Now let's just jump into the video. It's gonna be an awkward cut because I lost my whole intro, so it just very abruptly starts, but. And I figured we could just like talk about stuff too. Um, I don't know what yet, life issues, you know. I don't know, we'll find out. Hopefully, hopefully you guys find this video interesting. Hopefully it's fun to make. And, uh, yeah. We're off to the yarn barn. Well, I think she's going for her scrap looking stuff, but I'm going for that yarn. It's gonna be lit. Ignore the rash on my face. I take lithium and sometimes I get horrible rashes. Now it's almost gone. But, um, yeah, it was bad. This is like a week into this rash. I'm so mad about it. Anyway. It looks better. Yes, believe her. It was like all welty before, like all swollen. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so excited for the yarn barn. <laughs> We've arrived at the yarn barn. Reminder to wear your masks. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> Thank you. I love this place. Oh, I made leg warmers out of this at one point. I always want to do something with this, but you would need like a hundred of them. Yeah, like a blanket. Mm -hmm. They only have the thick kind. I want the thin kind. Okay, so the one I'm using I made with this one, but I could do it with this. Or I could go with the big boy. I think I'm going to make stripey ones. So this one and this one together. Okay, and then I think I'm going to make another sweater with the same yarn that I made it with before because I'm obsessed with it. But I'm going to use this color this time. Let's see. Color Bryce Canyon. I made it with the blue one last time. So we're going to see how this goes. I think I'm going to get some of the value yarn because it's on sale for $1.99. I feel like value yarn is really nice to practice with because it's like easy to see the stitches. So maybe I'll do that. I don't, I don't know. Okay, just kidding. Basic Stitch is on sale for $2.99. So I might make a sweater out of the taupe one. Cause I feel like I feel like that yellow is just a little bit too autumn and it's already gonna be January. So I think we might go with this. We just saw a man dead ass open carrying in a fucking Joanne fabric. Sir, this is a Joanne fabrics. What do you need that for? Oh my god. This is Chicago. Go somewhere else. Get out of. of. She can vouch. She saw it too. It was like, it was interesting. It was like, it was and, we and we just stopped talking and we're like. So, anyway, um, I lied to you. Got different yarn. I'm making this shirt I forgot about and I'm gonna make it with these colors and that's gonna be fun. But now I'm. You gotta bring a gun to Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I've returned from Joanne. I'll show you what I got, even though I already kind of showed you. So I got some fisherman's wool um, from Lion Brand. 
because I needed wool to make more leg warmers like the one I'm working on. This one I'm working on. Yes, so I got some of that, but I'm gonna make these next ones have different colors. So I'm gonna use this as an accent color. I really like it because it has little flex, see? Wow, flex. So I got that, and then I have a pattern for a shirt that I bought. I'll put a picture of it up here so you can see what it's gonna look like. But the two colors that I got are, I think, pretty good selections. At least like for matching the picture. So I got those and then I got, I needed circular knitting needles. Some of them anyway, I needed five millimeter, but they had detachable. So I got the detachable ones because I figure I can get the rest of the ones on Amazon probably for cheaper, but I'm very excited. So that's what I got. And now I'm just gonna chill, drink my fat coat, watch some YouTube and hopefully finish up my leg warmers. day and I am finally casting off on my second leg warmer very exciting things going on um, I don't know what I'm gonna do today um, I wanted to go I was thinking about going to one of like the actual like fiber arts stores but then I realized they're probably all closed for New Year's Day so I'm not gonna do that I am instead gonna finish this and then I think start on another shirt so I can show the process of that and then eventually you know we can we can chat we can have some talks i don't know i was like oh make a video where you like do knitting and crocheting and then talk about life and then i realized like i never have very interesting things to say about life so that could be a problem but anyway i'm gonna come back to show you guys what my leg warmers look like once they are done and on i'm so excited i'm bringing the 80s back they're done time to try them on i'm so excited these ones are wool my last ones were made with um acrylic so i'm excited to have some wool leg warmers especially for when i ride my bike okay time to try them on oh my god Oh my god, I am obsessed. I was a little worried that 56 cast on stitches wouldn't be enough, but they're perfect. They're perfect. Hello, I'm back in much more appropriate holiday clothing. That being my cat hair shirt that I bought at a yard sale. And oh my god. So we got the hair up. We're ready. We're ready to knit. Um I don't know how long I'm gonna knit today, you know, or how much I'm gonna get done, but I'm at least gonna start. I keep telling myself I need to like go out and do something, um, but the chances of that happening are like very slim. Now I just need to find, here we go. The pattern calls for casting on 74 stitches, and I decided I'm gonna use my bamboo needles just because my metal ones, like they have a little bit more slip and this yarn is more like slippery, if that makes sense. So today is New Year's Day. Hold on, I need to count. Actually, I'll tell, I'll, I'll do my little talk once I actually get everything cast on. So I'm just gonna cast on first and then we'll, and then we'll chat. <laughs>
um, can't wait to recount all these stitches because I just remembered that I might want to get something delivered from Best Buy today and I have to order by 2 p.m. So now I have to online shop and come back to this. <laughs> we love um, ADHD, we really do. I hope I got enough yarn for this project, but I'm gonna try and at least get the bottom ribbing done and then we'll see what I wanna do for the rest of the day. So, truly very exciting stuff. My one by one ribbing was not working. It worked for like half of it and then the other half looked like seed stitch and I'm just getting so annoyed. So I think it's time to take a break, I think. I'm just having a day, you know? It started out so good. This is what always happens. My days start out so good. And then especially when it gets dark, I'm just like depressed and annoyed and all of that stuff. So, you know, it's fine. I think I'm just gonna go sit out by the Christmas tree and just watch TV and enjoy the last few days of the Christmas tree being up. And hopefully my mood will improve. Hi guys, just kidding. I figured it out last night. I figured out my one by one rib i don't know what i did the first time that was so wrong but um i probably miscounted because it's really hard for me to cast on like i'm constantly like recounting it's it's a struggle but we figured it out so that's good but now at the end of this row i'm gonna have to figure out how to change colors and it's like i know how to add yarn but i don't know how to change colors like with crochet you just you know switch the color but you leave the other color on the end and then you can go back and get it so I don't know if that's the same thing with knitting or what the deal is last night I just took a depression nap for like three hours and then woke up and went back to knitting I did FaceTime my family so that was nice but I don't know my mood swings are wild. I really need to stop taking lithium because it keeps giving me these rashes on my face. Um, or at least I think that's what it is because I consulted Dr. Google and the rashes look the same. And I guess metal is like an irritant or whatever. But the problem is my mood swings are already so bad with lithium. How bad would they be without it? what I'm finna do about that. Hi Andy, can you tell I'm filming already? My little kitty cat, she's such a sweetie girl. You guys want to meet Miss Andy? I'm sure you've met her already, but you're gonna meet her again because she's like just the most precious bean. Her and her sister. Miss Andy, oh you are so beautiful. Look at how beautiful you are. Hey, look at how beautiful you are. So beautiful. So beautiful. She hates being held like a baby. Look, if you try, she's like, fuck you. Come on. Cookies. <laughs> okay. I love that stupid animal. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna finish this row and then I'm gonna try and change colors and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> is done. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. 
but it's it's here it exists so i'm thinking about switching out to my metal needles because i think i'm crocheting i think i'm knitting a little bit tight So apparently me ending videos is just not a thing anymore. I don't remember how to do it or something. I don't know because I forgot to end the video again. But I'm here now to end the video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Especially if you made it all the way till the end. You are the realist. And um, if you watched till the end and you enjoyed it. Maybe consider subscribing. That would help me out a lot and um i'll try to keep bringing similar content or something all right thanks so much for watching bye guys